Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. If you're returning, thank you for returning. Today we're going to talk about breastfeeding, specifically stuff that you weren't told when you were pregnant. So my first tip is not to give up. It's very hard. It's very time consuming. You're nervous because you're worrying if the baby's getting enough milk. The baby's getting enough milk. Um, the second tip is all about positioning. If you have the baby positioned properly, you will be comfortable, baby will be comfortable, and the baby will get as much colostrum as he or she needs the first few days. Because the first few days, you're not producing breast milk, you're only producing colostrum. So in this clip, I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing so hard because she was really upset because she thought she was about to feed again. I had fed her before I started recording and she was ready to eat again. She will keep eating all day long if I let her. If you don't know what colostrum is, colostrum is pretty much the body's way of building antibodies for the baby, giving the baby protein and nutrients that the baby needs to build up their immune system. Um, they don't really get milk the first few days. I meant to mention, if you see me look down, it's because I have notes jotted here. Um, it's just points that I want to touch on. I want to make sure I don't forget anything just because I know how intimidated I was when I first started breastfeeding. So like I was saying, the very first step is really just finding the correct positioning for you and the baby. Um, it's very important to get back support because if your back is not supported, you're going to hate breastfeeding because it's a lot of bending over and kind of contorting your body to make sure that the baby is comfortable. And so what I like to do is I would like to put like a pillow behind my back and then prop the pillow um, under my arm. And that helped me kind of stay in position a little bit longer um, because when baby first starts breastfeeding, the baby is about 20 minutes per nipple. So you start on one side and then you jump over to the next side. So being comfortable is very important. The next important step is mouth positioning. If the baby is not latched properly to the nipple, then it will be painful. Um, it's going to be a little tender the first few days anyway, just because you have to get used to that motion on your breast. Um, something constantly needing to suckle on your breast um, about every two to three hours when you first have a baby. So the one thing that I got wrong was I thought that as long as the baby's mouth is on the nipple, then it's the right way, but that actually is painful and it's actually incorrect for the baby. The baby's not really getting much um, liquid out that way because them just being on a nipple, it's just pinching the nipple shut. So it's not really allowing them to get all of the goodness that needs to come out. So they actually need to be over the entire areola. So the way to do that is to kind of um, take your nipple or your um, areola and pinch it between your fingers and then when baby starts crying, which they normally will, their tongue will start to curl. You just insert your, your breast right into their mouth. Um, the whole entire areola. Uh, areola. <laughs> Damn, why you saying that? Um, and that will prevent baby from biting down on your areola um, and biting down on your nipple because that is painful. I had chafing. Um, it was really raw and it got to the point where I was so afraid of breastfeeding her that I just kind of thought maybe formula is not going to be too bad. I mentioned nipple chafing and soreness, redness. Um, the best thing that I recommend for that is lanolin. I'll insert a picture right here. And what it is, is pretty much just like Vaseline for your nipples and it kind of cuts down on like the dryness of it. Um, so that you don't have like the, it looks like a rash. It can get so dry and irritated that it starts cracking and bleeding. And that's what happened to me. And I was in pain. And my younger sister who's had a baby, um, she told me about it and I have not looked back. You don't need it the entire time you're breastfeeding. Um, you probably only need it probably the first few weeks while you're getting used to it. But I lived for that lanolin cream. And it stained a lot of my um, my shirts and my bras, so it's very important to 
wear it like a pregnancy bra or wear shirts that you don't care about or nipple pads, um, nipple covers, um, because you will start leaking and such, but mainly because it does protect your clothes. That was very important for me. So like nursing bras, them staining, not really that important to me. More so like my nice blouses and shirts, very important. An important thing that I wanna mention is milk does not come in right away. I thought that as soon as I started breastfeeding that the milk would just come right in and flow and the baby would eat and everything would be all happy and chummy and that is not the case at all. Um, the very first few days will just be colostrum and the colostrum is good for a baby but the baby is still hungry and I felt so guilty that the I felt like I need to supplement with formula because she's hungry, she's starving. I mean, she cried and cried and cried and cried. And I was like, well, when is my milk gonna come in? Well, it does end up coming in. Mine came in about the, I wanna say the third day. So probably the second day out of the hospital, my milk came in around four o'clock in the morning. I was so excited that I texted like everybody, my mom, my sisters, just because the way I knew it came in is because I woke up to a soap t-shirt. My t-shirt was completely drenched and it was just pouring out of my body. And I was so happy about it because I knew that, you know, the baby would need to suckle a lot less and um, not as long. But also I knew that the baby was eating because that's what's important. That's what breastfeeding is for is eating. So I knew that she was actually getting the food that she needed in her system. So um, just be patient. As long as you're patient, it, the milk will come through. Now, as far as the amount of milk, everybody's body is different. Mine produced a lot, but I kind of stayed on a really tight knit schedule. Um, I nursed her every two to three hours um, and she had a specific cry. So I kind of was able to gauge and know exactly when she was hungry because her cry was very specific for feeding. And I knew it because every time I fed her, um, that would be the cry that she did. If she needed to be changed, then that would be a completely different cry. Um, but that helped me out a lot when that milk came through because it made nursing and just being around her a lot easier. She was a lot less fussy and I knew it was because she wasn't so hungry. The next thing I wanna to touch on is length of time. Um, each baby nurses differently, just depending on how much milk they're getting out. Um, but what I did was 20 minutes on each nipple just to make sure that I'm producing enough milk because milk production is based solely on how much your body thinks your baby needs. So if your baby only nurses five minutes on one breast and 20 minutes on the other one, then that first breast that they nursed only five minutes for, your breast is only going to produce five minutes worth of milk. Um, if they um, nurse 20 minutes, then they're going to produce more milk to keep up with baby's needs. So um, what I like to do to keep milk production going is I would nurse 20 minutes on each breast. And then um, if she didn't nurse the full 20 minutes on each breast and she ended up falling asleep in between, I would supplement that with um, pumping. Um, and what the pumping does is it gives the motion that the baby is still nursing and suckling. So your body will still read that as baby needs more milk because baby is still hungry. Um, and that's very important. Even in between feeds, um, if you want to be able to produce enough milk, then make sure that you are pumping in between. The last thing I want to touch on is that breastfeeding is very rewarding. Um, it gives you a certain closeness and bonding with the baby that you can still have that with formula, but just it's just something special knowing that the baby is getting everything that they need specifically from your body. Just try it. I would say at least try it a month. Once you do it a month, you should feel comfortable enough to continue to go. Baby sometimes is going to push it away. You just have to, you know, refocus their energy and their attention to your breast. Um, but I find it more rewarding than bottle feeding. It made me really aware of processed foods and um, just not eating so many snacks and so many sweets just because I knew that the baby was going to be ingesting that as well. Healthier diet, healthier baby is what I say, but uh, there is nothing wrong with bottle feeding your baby and formula feeding your baby. Everybody is different. 
but I find it very rewarding just to breastfeed. It's a certain closeness that you just don't get with bottle feeding. Thanks guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything you want to see, please comment below. Bye. <laughs>